So I have some bad news about my OnlyFans. I think I'm going to have to quit doing it because as some of you may know, I'm planning to go to Malaysia later this year, next month actually. And we're going on holiday and I'm thinking of maybe staying there for a bit longer or maybe going to some other countries like Thailand or Korea or maybe Taiwan, just as I wait for Japan to reopen to tourists. And the problem is most of these countries in Asia are pretty strict when it comes to being able to make money from creating and selling, selling, <laughs> creating and selling these kinds of spicy materials on the internet. You're not really allowed to do it. You can actually get fined and arrested in certain countries. And I don't really want to risk it because as you know, I have a lot of people who report me for nearly everything. Maybe I could get away with it. Maybe I could carry on doing it and no one would really care. The Thai police or the Malaysian police aren't really going to be bothered. But I don't really want to risk it because I've already been banned on Airbnb and I don't really want to get into trouble whilst I'm in another country doing illegal activities. So I feel like it's best to just, for now, shut down the OnlyFans, have a bit of peace of mind so I can sleep better and be able to travel around some of these countries for a few months whilst I wait for Japan to eventually reopen to tourists. It just kind of sucks because OnlyFans makes up about a third of my income and it does kind of hurt to lose that income because my channel doesn't really make as much money as it used to do. But I really want to go back to Asia and do a bit of traveling. I've been stuck in England for over a year now and I'm feeling pretty bored. So if I have to shut down my OnlyFans in order to be able to do that then I will just have to shut it down. So I only have two options. I can either shut down and delete my entire OnlyFans account permanently. The whole thing is just gone, which I don't really want to do. Or I have to, or I would have to just delete every single post that's on the OnlyFans that is of explicit nature. OnlyFans is kind of annoying because there's no option to set stuff to private and there's no way to stop new people from joining the OnlyFans. So you can't really take a break. It would have been nice if OnlyFans had an option where you could just set everything to private so I wouldn't have to take everything down. But it seems like the only option is to delete every post that is naughty. So I've had to start the process of backing everything up onto this brand new SD card so that when I get back home to England, I can start re-uploading everything back onto my OnlyFans. My plan is around middle of June, I'm going to start the process of deleting every single post. So you have until around middle of June, if you're still interested in joining up to my OnlyFans, you can join up now and you'll still have a month until I start taking everything down. And if you've been away from my OnlyFans for quite a while, then there should be quite a lot of new content up on there because I've been uploading new stuff every month quite frequently. So if you're interested in seeing the content that you might have missed out on on my OnlyFans, then now is a good time to join up because you still have a month until I delete everything. I'll put a link in the description below to join up and maybe if I'm feeling generous, I'll put a 20% off discount for the first five or 10 people. I just got a bit scared because I read a few articles about some pretty big OnlyFans stars in Singapore and Thailand they got arrested and fined just for doing OnlyFans and then I found this little article saying Singapore content creators uploading obscene material on the online platform OnlyFans could be breaching laws here even if they are based overseas and it also says that a foreigner or a Singaporean who uploaded the material overseas and then subsequently enters Singapore could also potentially be dealt with by the law. So that was pretty scary to hear stuff like that. And I'm not planning to go to Singapore, but maybe other countries also have similar laws where even if you upload the stuff overseas, if you then enter the country, technically you're breaking the law and I don't really want to risk it. Some people said to me, why don't I just use a VPN to be able to access the website? And yeah, a VPN would help me use the website if it has been blocked by the government over there. But it still doesn't really change the fact that uploading that kind of stuff to OnlyFans would be breaking their laws. And it would be very easy for them to check. They could just go on my OnlyFans and say, and they'll be able to see that I've uploaded new stuff whilst I was in Malaysia or in Thailand. And then I'll get arrested maybe. I don't really know when I would restart my OnlyFans. I guess it depends when I come back to England. Maybe I would go to Malaysia and then I might not like it very much there because last time I went, I wasn't a huge fan, but I'm trying to be a bit more open-minded this time. And maybe I would prefer it this time compared to last time if I stayed in a 
in a different place, maybe in the center of the city. It could be nice, I'm not sure. Maybe I just come back home with my family back to England and then I'll just start my OnlyFans again after a few weeks of having a break. Who knows, it's kind of hard to make plans when I keep changing my mind every second. I'm also not really sure if I really, really want to stay in Asia for a long time because it's kind of different visiting and being on holiday versus trying to live there even if it's just for a few months. I'm not really sure what I would do in Malaysia. I just end up sitting around in some apartment playing video games and being bored and lonely. I don't really know if I can justify trying or pretending to live in another country again for no real reason. It's kind of weird when you go to another random place and you don't have a job set up there, you're not going to any kind of class or school or activity, you don't have any friends there. It's like you're just going to some random place for no apparent reason other than you're bored and you've got nothing to do there, you've got no real reason to be there and you're just sitting around there for months and months not doing anything important or special. And I've started learning the banjo, which you can see I've got two banjos here and I'm quite enjoying just learning the banjo and being at home and I don't know if staying in Malaysia or going to Thailand would be would make me happier than how I'm currently living my life right now but the problem is I'm just too comfy right now this is like my ultimate comfort zone it's got everything I want everything I need and I feel 100% safe but the problem with being in your comfort zone for too long it's like they say it stagnates your mind, it rots your mind because there's no challenges, there's no new external stimulants. And I think just being in Asia for a bit, even if it makes me uncomfortable, could be a nice break from the comfort zone. I'm not sure. I still can't decide. On one hand, I do kind of want to travel again and try living on my own again in some kind of city and experiencing city life in a different country could be interesting. But then I miss my banjo and I miss my 32 inch curved monitor. I miss my gaming stuff and my bedroom's got everything that I like to have that I won't be able to take with me because it's just too heavy. If Japan was open, then I would definitely go back to Japan, even if it's just for a few months, because that's the main country that I would like to visit again and try staying in again. I don't really care that much about other countries like Korea or Thailand. They're just like second best options whilst Japan is closed. And if anyone knows about legal stuff, I would love to hear from you if you could leave a comment. Am I doing the right thing about shutting my OnlyFans down? Am I right to be worried? Am I worrying over nothing? It's just a little bit annoying having to delete everything on my OnlyFans and then having to re-upload everything again when I come back home. I wouldn't mind not making or filming new stuff whilst I'm in these other countries, but it would be nice if I could leave the OnlyFans up so people could keep joining it so I keep getting paid. Well, I guess we'll find out when I'm in Malaysia. Will I change my mind? Will I want to stay there longer? Who knows?